Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here talking about the mount for MMA. Uh, again, we attacked the legs earlier. If they're there, take them. You got everyone forgets about them. Or it opens up the arms. Um, I've shown how to blast with punches and, and, and do elbows in other videos. So we're opening the guy up. We're looking for all kinds of stuff. Now we're going to talk about you're coming up high, you're punching the guy in a high mount, and he covers. As soon as the guy's covering, he's rocking, and you're doing that, especially if it's an organization that doesn't allow elbows. If they allow elbows, you can mess the guy up pretty bad. But Strike Force doesn't allow elbows to the head on the ground. Bellator in the tournaments doesn't allow elbows to the head on the ground. So let's look for submissions to have an unbeatable mount game where you're always balanced, but you also have tight submissions where you're not getting out of position, um, where you're getting reversed. A regular arm bar from mount, it's very easy to get reversed in MMA, you know, it doesn't run away, escape gets out of it. But S mount's a little bit different, so as he's covering, I'm going to come up here to my S mount. Okay, pinching his head here and have it under the shoulder here. Now, one thing you can do, Vinny M who is this great jiu-jitsu guy, is take this arm away in order to attack this arm. That way he can't hug together. So that's one way of adding to your S mount arm bars. A lot of times we're just going to take it here and we're going to come in we're going to hook. I have been getting more and more guys lately by rocking forward and hooking this leg. So taking it from here. Here's my arm lock. Okay, you see I'm attacking the arm down here. I rock forward. A lot of guys I just feel that pressure instead of rocking back. So that's always an option here. See what he just did naturally? He crossed his arm. So we're going to look for the Wing Chun style pretzel attack. Okay, we're going to work him here. Anytime the guy crosses his arms, you can work locks in there. I got him, I got him arm barring himself right here. See with my shoulder pressure. Okay, and then I can come back to attack this arm. Guys don't do that, why? Because very often guys cross their arms. He didn't naturally, I did not tell him to do that earlier. Okay, so a lot of times guys cross, they cross even deeper, look at, look at the lock there. Okay, and I'm just keeping my balance, and it's easy. You know, if he pretzels himself super crazy, I'm gonna work all kinds of things. And maybe I'm just gonna end up setting that arm bar back up right here. Traditionally, you're gonna go to your back. Now, S amount arm bar here, I'm going to work inside that wrist, or grab my hip, grab my shoulder, hips good, you know, 10th planet style, um, and then hook this leg to spider web. A lot of guys are doing the S mount armbar and they're not hooking the leg and the guy's getting out in MMA, you're sweaty, and they're explosive strong athletes of course. So I like to hook inside here, hook the leg, rock forward, or rock forward first to help his escape so he can't base in and um, stack in. Instead of just falling backwards, I want to come forward first and then fall back. Okay, here. Hook the wrist, hook the leg. This is your ass mount. Tight knees, hooking in here. Top leg, the one by the head, crosses on bottom. All right, if you get both arms in, that's the best. This position's a lot better than this. Though, of course, this still finishes. This still finishes. This still finishes. I don't like that. I think there's not enough control of the upper body. You know, this is okay, but really, ideally, you want the arm in here. But control this leg up here stops the runaway escape, the thumbs up hitchhiking escape. And there's your arm bar. Now, again, let me talk about your staying low, hooking the legs. That stops his throwing you off, okay? And then, after 10 seconds, or attacking the legs a little bit, I'm gonna come up. So, here I'm just looking to land, bam, okay? down, then I can transition more to here. Thank you. There we go. Pretzel. Okay, if I really want to attack this arm and he's strong, if he's going to hug, you can get in here and try to peel this one away. Okay, I got that arm bar there. But really this is to attack this arm. Of course you can switch to like a chilled album with Plata from Mount. Vinny M shows some great stuff from here. Um, but you clear the arm. That stops the defense. You come in here for your S mount armor. Again, I'm clearing, clearing the. Uh, and that's the spider web by hooking the leg that makes it spider web. Again, clearing. Knee tight to the head, pinching, clearing this arm is good. Arm bar is good, and of course, if you're having trouble, you can go. You know, and start working for. I'm a lot of all kinds of nasty stuff. I like it too. Look in there. So you can always go to the Umaplata from last round too. 
I'm not looking for that as my main thing. I'm looking for the other arm bars I showed. But look for the pretzel. Look for the digging one in your armpit to clear the arm so we can't hold on and defend. So there's your S-bound armbar. Thanks.